There we go. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Bam. There we go. Awesome. Thanks for that. Sorry about that. I went live on Letho stream. I believe it. Oh, wait. We got to show press the registration. <laughs> So we're watching a rerun now? Yes. What's up, bro? You're now a bona fide workshop owner. Your pa would have been so proud. Cool. Let me explain some of the processes for our trade. Here at the Porsche office, we post workshop commissions every day on the board over there. Okay. Based on the speed and quality of the results, we make a ranking of the workshops every week listed on the wall behind me. Okay. There are other workshops in Porsche? Oh, yes. Adding yours, there will be five workshops in our jurisdiction. Besides the ranking list, you also have a workshop rating, which is listed on your license. The higher your rating, the higher quality the commissions you can get. But don't worry. If you have your father's work ethic, you'll be number one in no time. Once you're done with your orders, you can pick up the commission fee from Antoine if it's from the guild or the respective person who commissioned you. Builders make most of their money from doing commissions through the Commerce Guild. But some just build items and sell directly to the market. That's fairly lucrative as well. Okay. Anyway, since this is your first commission, I've kept one just for you. Playing favorites, are we? Higgins! You already took one today! There are never too many commissions! Good day! That's Runt! He's the owner of the current number one workshop! Brilliant businessman, but I don't like the way he does things. Well... Higgins! That was our last one today. Hey, Prez. I got a job for you. Or not. What is it, Arlo? This guy looks pissed. Uh, Zareph, thank you for the 2,000 cheer, my dude! Really appreciate your support. Thank you for it. We're looking to build a bridge to Amber Island. Also, Tut Tut, you have the most amazing community here online and offline. It's a great way to start every day with the good vibes everyone brings. Have a great day. We'll right back to you, Tut Tut, and thanks for your eight months, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Young, here is up for the challenge. Okay. Yeah, he figured that place could be a real tourist attraction. Cable. Check your pa's workshop handbook to see if he has a bridge diagram in there. I remember he built a bunch. If it's there, use it at your assembly station. Whoa. After you're done with the bridge pieces, you need to go to the designated spot and assemble the bridge. Also, and this is important, for a project as big as a bridge, you need to dive into the abandoned ruins to gather materials. We have one such ruin in Portia. It's located at the bottom of the temple tower. Okay. Whoa. Ten grinding stones. Two copper plates. Two grinders. Should, should I take all these? Or should I just leave them all? Um, oh, you can only take one. Okay. Um, let's, let's take, let's take this one. Actually, that one's 100, 100. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this one. I got 10 days to do it, so hopefully I'll remember. I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to remember. I already forgot. Yo, he's gonna get on his all oh, on my horse. Let's go see what we need to make this stuff. From Town Hall, we'd like to remind you that Portia has two authorized ruins for you to dive in an abandoned ruin number one below the church light and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. All other ruins are off limits. No more resources? Oh, no more resources. Uh, okay. I want 
build a bridge. Oh, that's the grinder. We need old parts and grinding stone. Interesting. And three copper bars. We need copper ore for. Oh, Lord. What have I done? D Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we got a lot to do. Cut with a civil cutter. Smelt with a furnace. Oh, my Lord, y'all. Where do I put all this stuff? All right, hold on now. Where do you go? Can I just put you anywhere? Oh god, I can't. Um. Oh, we just pick it up when we want? Okay, okay. What do I craft here? Oh, we have to fuel it, too. Damn! Uh, can I build a storage chest? Wooden storage. Click stuff into it. Noise, noise. I like that. What's this? When placed in your house, you receive bonuses. Oh shit. Boop. Noise, noise. Oh, now for the real challenge. If I put things in chests, can I use them for crafting? Yes! We can! Awesome. Fantastic. All right. Um, we need a bronze axe. We need a bronze bar from a stone furnace. For a bronze bar, I need a lot more copper. Copper comes from... Oh, abandoned ruins. So we got, we got to go to the abandoned ruins, apparently. Can I get a better weapon? Practice sword is wooden hardwood. I can't do hardwood yet, so no. Okay, let's go to the rooms. I'm just gonna put all that in there. I don't know what else to do with it. Can I get stamina back from this? Oh, restores 10 HP. Bring those. It's a lure. Ah, we can sort too. How cool! Okay, great. How am I liking the game so far? Uh, it's okay so far. I I haven't really like. I'm not really to the point where I'm setting goals or anything yet. So I'm just kind of messing around and learning about it. But yeah, it's been it's been good so far. All right, where's this church? You know, yeah, here we go. Okay. Hey there. First time ruin diving? <laughs> hey, dude. Yep. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee, but we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. Okay. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mine in for resources a jet pack? a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. Okay. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there. Just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Okay. 
Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. Uh, no. Uh, yes. Okay. I wish people gave me a jetpack for no reason. I know, right? Aim the reticule to position you want to dig and then press and hold LMB and attack dig. Select the picker drill tool. Press the F key to scan with the relic scanner. Nearby relics will show up as globes of light. What? Press and hold space bar to fire the jetpack. I can just use it forever. Oh no, it has, it has like a little bit of a time. Limit. Still pretty good. F. Um. Game had deformation. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. I got a small engine. Is that the only thing in here? Diggy diggy hole, that's right. If I just run around with this thing out, I'll eventually... Oh, there's one. Yep. Brown patches are copper. Oh, are they? Oh, like like this? I think that's brown. Was that brownish? Yeah, okay. Like that right there. Ooh. Oh, dude, so is this just a huge amount of copper? Oh my god. Copper for days. Dig deep and then start scanning around. Okay. Oh no, I'm a wait. Oh, that restores HP, not MP. Oh, I'm gonna have to come back here tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to come back here tomorrow. Let's get all we can and then we'll leave. All done. Move to ruin entrance. Man, that is really handy, isn't it? Cool. Start smelting at home. It takes time, but no energy. Ah, thank you. Good tip. Yo, I want my backpack out here. Is that a chest? Oh, sh give me that. What's this? Salad sauce. Yeah, we definitely call that dressing here. Salad sauce. What? Who calls it that? Um, couple bar times ten. Sure. Oh, but I need wood. Refuel. Confirm. Craft. Max. Confirm. Yes. That's a word. Oh wow! One day, one hour. 
Okay, cool. Good talk. Yosh! Anonymous, hey Co, it's not much, but can you share this with the mods? Anonymous with the $50 tip. $50 is a lot, bro. I will definitely give that to the mods. All, every penny of it. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it, dude. Thanks for your support. The other wing with the 500 cheer. I'm glad you're playing this game. It's my favorite chill game and has so many awesome QL things about it. You can craft items in storage boxes, so stow away, and you can access all storage boxes from any of them. That is awesome. Thank you, bud. And thank you for the 500 cheer. Oh, there's some of our copper bars. Nice, nice. What does this do? Stamina buff. Oh, we'll bring that. How do I get this stuff unlocked? Oh, probably a different chest type, right? I'm gonna have to build multiple chests. Get started here pretty soon. Okay. Let's go back to the rune today. Oh. I just want to inform you the Civil Corp of Ports can take some commissions for you when it comes to gathering materials for hazardous ruins. You can post a commission on our commission board in the Civil Corps, putting at the northern end of town. Oh, cool. Okay, great. Hey, Builder, at the end of the week, we need qualified people to inspect these products. To coordinate this, we will not post any regular commissions during the weekend. Okay. Hey, New Builder, I have a manly commission for you to help get settled in. I need three copper blades for some of my furniture. Okay. I expect nothing but macho quality. Um, if you don't have one already, you'll need a grinder to create these blades. Uh, how, what's, what's the time limit? I'll accept, but I don't... Uh, what do we need for this grinder thing? Grinding stones. Copper bars. Can I make, can I make a grinding stone? So, if I want to build this... Oh, so, so, I really do have to, like, go over to here. I'll do that. Okay. I wish, I wish this, I wish it was, I wish it would pull from my storage. Um, that'd be super handy. Let's see. Oh, that's copper bar. I put that in storage. Oh, it does come later. Okay. Apparently it gets better later. That's cool. There's that. Uh, old parts. Hey, Sam in your face. What's up, buddy? There's that. Can I rotate it? I rotate it, right? Ah, there we go. Let's put it right in the corner here. Boop. Copper blades take two copper bars. A piece. So we can make one right now for that dude. Oh, it takes power stone? Okay. Let's go ahead and craft that for now. How long does it take? An hour. Okay. Uh, Alright, let's go back to the place. Oh, damn, this is full. Um... skill points. Oh, I need to. Oh, is it sipping time? Did I miss a sip? Nice chat.
One hour is one minute real time. Oh, good to know. Thank you. Okay, that should be enough. Uh, if I pick this up, will it just pick up everything in it? I hope so. Mm. Yeah, it looks like it did. Great. All your chests from one chest? Oh, even better. Okay. You can use the arrows at the top of the storage box to switch between chests. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I thought this was like a Stardew Valley game, but it's, it's actually a lot bigger than Stardew Valley. Like with the skill system and everything. It's definitely a lot larger. That's for sure. Um... Experience gained increased by 5%. Is that is that all experience? I think I should probably max that, like, soon. Or I wonder if it's only for fighting. Oh, it is for all. Okay, but we're going to max that ASAP. Hey, uh, Kapaita. Thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Saw that message. Very nice of you, friendo. Oh, here we go. Look at this. We got a bunch down here. Let's just go right down. Ooh. I need a lot more copper. We're gonna get a lot of stuff in here today. We're loading up, man. What do we get? A small engine. Okay, oops, some copper. We'll grab that. Doop. So I'm guessing this is all procedurally generated. Which is kinda cool. Porcelain water holder? Sweet copper. Nice. Get that sweet XP. What I think about Metro Exodus? It was incredible. Loved it.
I, uh, yeah, to be fair, I am a steampunk hobo. That is correct. Thank you for clearing that up in chat. Can confirm, steampunk hobo. That's actually the name I use when I play competitively in the CSGO circuit. some fight, man. The combo system looks actually pretty cool. I do have a jetpack. Yeah, I do. For some reason. It's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, look at this. This is the fighting in this game. Like, really? That alone is going to make it completely different from Stardew Valley in terms of, like, the com the feel of combat. It's going to be kind of fun. I wonder if different weapons have different combos and stuff. Get a sword? Oh, I want to. Part of the plan, bruh. How do you say the name of this game? Is it Portia or Portia? It's actually both. They, they, they confirmed in a thread on Steam that they don't they don't have a proper pronunciation. So most people call it Portia. In fact, I think the NPCs in the game say Portia. So that's what I'm going to call it. Yeah, I found a leather sofa. It happens. It happens. And, you know, I just threw it in my backpack. Mm -hmm. Again, this is normal stuff, chat. This is... This is normal stuff. Monument model piece three. I mean, we're finding all sorts of weird stuff down here. This is kind of cool. Man. Lots of loot. Digging the loot. What kind of car do I have? Uh, I drive a Lexus RCF. Nothing below us. Is it a Lamborghini? No. no. The thing I really like about the Lexus RCF is it's it's a it's uh, it's got 500 horsepower, so it's nice and speedy. It, it looks really nice. But what's great about the Lexus RCF is if you just see it drive by and you're not paying attention, it doesn't look like a super expensive car. Which I love about it. It look like if if it if it just drives by, it just it just kind of looks like a normal car. Like it's it's pretty cool. But under the hood, it's got like some nice stuff. And that's exactly what I was going for. I don't I don't really like cars that are like eye catching, um, like like super eye catching. You know, um, it's a little loud, but it's nice. It, it works out well. Um, let's see. Do I do I want to have any? I only have thirty. Let's just go ahead and use this. Although, although, I might be trading in my RCF soon. Or my, uh, my, yeah, I may be trading in my RCF soon. Yeah, I might be trading it in. I, I might go for something that I can put a, a kid's seat in. Yeah. I don't, I don't know for what. Pro I'm probably just gonna get, like, something, something really nice and comfortable that I can have a, that I can have a kid's seat. Not, not like a minivan. Like, I still wanna, I, I might get another, uh, another Lexus, actually, but... Yeah, I, I don't really need the speed, and I definitely need more room. You know, I was I was looking at Teslas. Um, actually, I was thinking about looking at Teslas, but the problem is is to get a Tesla these days, it takes like years. You you can't you can't just go get a Tesla. Like you have to basically reserve it. So, I think I need something a little bit sooner than that. Yeah. Get the Lexus GSF. A GSF. I don't even think I've heard about that. What is, what is a GSF? One second. Oh god. Oh 
Oh, my. Oh, it's a 2019. Oh, it's a four door. Wait, 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 wait. This is this is like my car, but a four door. Oh, oh God, that's really expensive though. But it's like my car, but a four door. Hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna keep playing this game for now. Hmm. <clears throat> 